All right, here's what I think is a really straightforward exercise. Um, so first, let's recall that the norm of z, so the norm of z is the same as the square root of the inner product of z with itself, and we know that from the textbook, and that implies that the um, norm of z squared is the inner product of z with z because you just square it. So, if the inner product of x and y is 0, then what is the norm of x plus y squared? So this is the inner product of x plus y with x plus y. And just to uh, sort of um, go through the details in a little more detail, we can use linearity first in the, um, let's say in the first entry, so x, so this is the inner product of x with x plus y plus the inner product of y with x plus y. So then this is the inner product with, and then we use linearity for each of these terms separately, we use linearity in the second entry, so we get inner product of x with x, plus inner product of x with y, plus inner product of y with x, plus inner product of y with y. And it turns out that the inner product of x and y is the same as the inner product of y and x, and so this is precisely the norm of x squared plus two times the inner product of x and y, here, I'll write this on the other, on the next. Well, no, I'll start here. The norm of x squared, no, I'll start on the other line. The norm of x squared plus 2 times the inner product of x and y plus the norm of y squared. Um, but the inner product of x and y is 0, so this is just x squared plus y squared. All right, so that's it. So if x and y are perpendicular, prove that this equality holds. And so I'm sort of puzzled by how short this exercise is, but I'm even more puzzled because this isn't all we can do with this exercise. We could do more. So in fact, if the norm of x plus y squared equals the norm of x squared plus y squared, then we can basically do this entire exercise backwards. So we get norm of x plus norm of y squared. So then we do all the math that we did before and we get norm of x squared plus two inner product of x and y plus norm of y squared. And then we cancel the norm of x squared plus the norm of y squared from both sides of this equation. So 0 equals 2 inner product of x and y. So the inner product of x and y is 0, i.e. x and y are um, orthogonal. So orthogonality is equivalent to this statement about norms. And this, in fact, is true not just for this norm that we've learned, but you can also define more general types of norms and more general types of inner products. And even in the more general case, these two things are equivalent. Um, so yeah, not sure why this exercise is included um, without having more details or more parts in it, um, particularly when you can do the reverse direction for free, essentially. But in any case, here we have a solution to the exercise, and so we're done.